हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू दीक्षा कर्नाटक यूट्यूब चैनल एवरी वन इज प्रिपेयरिंग हार्ड फॉर योर प्यू मिड टर्म एग्जाम सो हियर आई एम हेल्पिंग यू विद ऑल द इम्पॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन इन वन शॉर्ट सो दैट यू कैन टिक देम अप इफ यू वॉन्ट टू डाउनलोड दिस पी डी एफ ऑब्वियसली यू हैव टू जॉइन आवर व्हाट्सएप चैनल एंड इवन इफ यू हैव नॉट येट सब्सक्राइब टू आवर चैनल डेफिनेटली सब्सक्राइब टू आवर चैनल ऑल द प्यू एंड केस एट रिलेटेड study program will happen in our channel only so don't forget to subscribe to our channel now here i am going to discuss all the important questions that might come in your uh, pu2 uh, mid term exam so first we are going to discuss the chapter electric charges and fields state and explain gauss's law in electrostatics so you can take the screenshot of this and if if you complete it you can mark it as like this okay so if it is ticked that means you have completed it right so you can use it like this or you can download the pdf obviously it will be shared on our whatsapp channel state and explain gauss's law in electrostatics write coulomb's law in vector form explain the terms or state and explain coulomb's law both is a possible question sketch the electric field lines for force due to a point charge for q less than 0 q greater than 0 so this is basically negative charge this is positive charge define electric dipole moment mention its si unit Talk on an electric dipole. Properties of electric charges. Properties of electric field lines. Now, from this chapter, five mark derivations are possible. What are the uh, five marks derivations? Electric field due to a dipole on the axis and equatorial plane. Next, electric field due to a charge straight long uh, wire. Electric field outside a charge spherical shell. And five mark numerical will come from this chapter as well. So, five mark derivation and numericals both we have to practice. from this chapter next chapter is uh, electric potential and capacitance equipotential surface a uh, very very important topic from this chapter from this definition shape for different cases for example what is the shape of equipotential surface for a point charge it will be spherical what will be equipotential surface for a line charge it will be cylindrical so you have to understand this and you have to remember some of them as well uh, now Uh, properties of equipotential surface write three properties write two properties so that is also possible from this uh, concept capacitance of parallel plate capacitor uh, derivation and formula the formula using the formula you have to solve some questions as well combination of capacitors derivation small derivations it will not be a five mark derivation so uh, series combination of capacitors parallel combination of capacitors both will come as a two mark or three mark derivation expression for energy stored in a capacitor energy density of uh, capacitor that is also a uh, just you need to write the expression explain the terms you will get the marks potential energy of a dipole in an external field very very important polar and non polar molecules difference between polar and non polar sometimes what is a polar uh, molecules and based on this uh, uh, objective questions also will come now five mark derivation the very very important five mark derivation from this chapter the expression for electric potential at a point due to a point source charge this is almost every year it comes so this is a very very important uh, derivation electric potential due to uh, dipole this you, if you get time you practice this is optional this is optional next is uh, five mark numericals yes numericals questions can also come from this chapter as well so you have to practice numericals from this chapter now electric current uh, very high weighted chapter so from here drift velocity the uh, expression derivation uh, of current in terms of drift velocity th these are also very very common mobility expression of mobility unit of mobility relaxation time uh, unit of relaxation time obviously seconds so these are also very important concepts uh, limitations of ohms law so uh, write two two limitations of ohms law write three limitations of uh, ohms law so these are also common a uh, difference between current and current density another important question resistance and resistivity very very important okay what is resistance what is resistivity uh, r is equal to rho l by a from that formula you might face some uh, numerical questions as well cells in series and cells in parallel are five marks derivation sometimes students find it slightly tricky but this is very common and might come in your uh, uh, mid term exam now wheatstone bridge is one of the most important a uh, derivation from this chapter you cannot skip it uh, and five marks numerical will definitely come uh, if you are practicing numericals from this chapter be aware that 
सर्किट डायग्राम बेस्ड न्यूमेरिकल्स माइट कम विच मे बी इन सम केसेस कैन टर्न बी अ लिटिल बी डिफिकल्ट एंड लेंदी सो आई सजेस्ट इफ यू हैव प्रैक्टिस यू कैन सॉल्व द न्यूमेरिकल फ्रॉम दिस चैप्टर अदरवाइज इफ इट इज सिंपली सर्किट डायग्राम बेस्ड न्यूमेरिकल्स यू कैन स्कीप दैट इफ इट इज सिंपली फॉर्मूला बेस्ड न्यूमेरिकल्स यू कैन अटेम्प दैट ओके नाउ नेक्स्ट इज मूविंग चार्जेस एंड मैग्नेटिज्म इन दिस पार्ट यू विल गेट लॉरेंज फोर्स एक्सप्रेशन फॉर लॉरेंज फोर्स सम कंसेप्चुअल क्वेश्चन रेडियस एंगुलर फ्रिक्वेंसी रेडियस ऑफ रेवल्यूशन ऑफ अ चार्ज पार्टिकल इन अ मैग्नेटिक फील्ड सो दैट इज ऑल्सो पार्ट ऑफ लॉरेंज फोर्स कॉन्सेप्ट ओनली बट दैट विल ऑल्सो कैन कम एज अ स्मॉल टू थ्री मार्क डेरीवेशन फोर्स ऑन अ करेंट कैरिंग वायर बायोसेवर्स लॉ एम्पियर सर्किटर लॉ गैल्बनोमीटर टू एम मीटर एम मीटर टू गैल्बनोमीटर टू वोल्ड मीटर दिस कन्वर्शन एंड समटाइम्स स्मॉल न्यूमेरिकल क्वेश्चन बेस्ड ऑन दिस कंसेप्ट कैन ऑल्सो कम now in five mark derivation magnetic field due to a point charge on the axis of a circular current loop very very important derivation uh, for all uh, districts and force between parallel current carrying wire this is also very very important both derivations are uh, very very important and might come in your midterm exam let me know if you face any one of these derivations in your upcoming midterm exam magnetism and matter difference between dia para ferro magnetic material so if you have followed my lectures i have covered this in one single a uh, table if you remember that table you can answer this question properties of magnetic field lines gauss's law of magnetism magnetization of magnetic intensity magnetic susceptibility and relative permeability as you can see there is no five mark derivations no numerical questions gonna come from this chapter so this is an easy theoretical chapter electromagnetic induction again there is no five mark derivations no numerical questions small maybe two mark numerical questions will come that will come from based on this concepts only so if you have studied faraday's law and lenz's law and understood that uh, phi equals to uh, epsilon equals to minus d phi by dt then you can solve those questions expression for self inductance coil magnet experiment and motional emf derivation this is a three marker derivation very highly uh, likely it might come so let me know if you see this question in your midterm exam next is uh, alternating current now in this case advantages of ac over dc and transformer formula and power losses what are the common power losses and how you can uh, avoid that that is very very common uh, from this chapter so the transformers formula for step up and step down transformers and the power losses uh, the different power losses and there how can you avoid those power losses that is also very very common question phasor it came once in past few years but uh, generally does not come five mark derivations uh, will not come from this chapter five marks numericals will come from this chapter uh, now the five mark numericals definitely can be tricky but if you remember few formulas and the process to solve the questions it will be very very uh, easy uh, numericals so you if you just remember few formulas uh, z xl xc how to calculate z how to calculate phase difference then the questions are generally very uh, common track so you can uh, predict what type of questions will come from this chapter so if you practice the numericals from this chapter you can definitely solve it but to solve numericals from the alternating current chapter you need a calculator emo is the smallest chapter uh, different applications of emo is different uh, application of uv wave uh, waves application of x rays application of gamma rays application of radio waves so those different applications uh, which will come and uh, one more common concept from this chapter is displacement current write the expression for displacement current and explain the terms that is also very very common question from this chapter next is ray optics very important high weighted chapter from this sign convention what is sign convention a uh, short note on sign convention two mark question De uh, derive f is equal to r by 2 uh, two mark question total internal if condition for total internal reflection and total internal reflection based small numerical questions telescope and compound microscope both can come okay so what are the uh, how the image is formed in a compound microscope so you have to be aware of that power of a lens the formula power of a lens based on that two three uh, uh, mark questions might come now in the five mark derivations lens maker equation very very important refractive index of a prism uh, also very very important and uh, refraction at a spherical surface this is also very very important this question came last year in bangalore south so this is also very very important uh, question uh, derivation now uh, five mark numericals will come from this chapter and uh, the numericals are generally easy so if you practice numericals from this chapter so you can answer the numerical questions as well either 
so if uh, derivation comes from lens makers formula then refractive index of a prism based question numerical questions will come if uh, refractive index of a prism is coming then lens maker uh, equation related numerical questions is highly probably uh, will come now these are the all the chapters that is generally there in the uh, mid term exam if you have any other extra chapters please do mention that in the comment below i will try to cover in upcoming videos uh, and also mention your date of exam so that i am aware uh, that when is your exam right i will be back with more videos till then bye